It's episode three of the Dunfermline Football Manager 2023 career mode. Our season is about to get underway, but you could argue the season is already over after some disastrous results in the Premier Sports Cup. The board weren't too happy, the fans weren't too happy, but thankfully for us, they decided that they ain't going to pull the trigger. They're probably going to wait till we lose our opening couple of games in the league and then sack us. So yeah. Didn't go too well. We can turn that around though. We're taking on Aloha today at East End Park. They beat us in the Premier Sports Cup. So for us, it's a perfect chance to get revenge. To go and get one over on them. And I would probably take losing the Premier Sports Cup tie in the group stage if it meant winning this and getting off to a perfect start in the league. Do you agree, Gaming Jesus? Yes, because I think beating Aloha in the cup was irrelevant because we wouldn't have made it through anyway. So fuck it, you'd rather win the league when you're aiming to win it. Woo! Would you not? Yep, you need to be in it to win it and you were in it, but we're not really winning fuck all. We're not winning the fans over either. You can look at this squad, it's just not big enough. Look, I don't want to make excuses, but I'm going to make one right here, right now. This squad is just too small. There's not enough attacking options. Most of it is like defensive minded players. The, I mean, you look at the forward thinking players, there's not many there. And probably the two best ones are on loan and, and will be go- returning to their parent clubs soon enough. So I, I think we're in trouble. I think we really need to get into the January transfer window if we get there and uh, start bringing in players and, and just bulk out the numbers. Now, I was looking through other parts of the squad. I looked at the reserve squad, nobody in it. So, now the under-18s, there is a few players that we could potentially call up. We've got uh, Robbie Mahan, who is on loan at the moment, and he's an option. He is someone that we could call up, but he's not someone you really want to rely on playing. He's on loan for Mollerwell. The other guys are are just, you can't really trust them. Maybe this Miller-Fenton guy could get called up, but again, is our key to winning League One really relying on a loan player from Berwick Rangers? Is that how we win League One? Probably not. So yeah, I don't know, do we bring these guys in or do we leave them there for now? Even if you look at the under-18 squad, it's not, I mean, how's that supposed to turn up to games? Oh, what are we playing, five a fucking side? I mean, where, be. where's the players, man? It just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, we'll do what we've got. We've, and we haven't got a lot, but we'll have to make it do. We'll take it on Aloha. We've got injuries to Nikolai Todorov. We've got fitness issues with Craig Whiten and fitness issues with Max Little. So, yeah, it's not ideal. It's not the way we want to start the season. But it's, it's, it's the cards we've been dealt, right? We've been dealt shit hands. And now we have to we do our best to turn those shit hands into 21 blackjack baby that's what we need Aye, we need some winning fucking hands so hopefully we can get a few goals and get off to winning ways as for the team i believe we're going to to craig whiten's not 100 fit so we'll probably not play him uh you got richie holsler and mccann i don't know if mccann's the guy that we really want on the wing but uh i would like to play whiten but he's just not fit man we can't really risk it yeah, so we're just going to have to stick with this team, essentially. Matty Todd, though, is an option. But yeah, I think we'll go with this, we'll go with this 11 here. Going to be Mehmet, McDonald, Breen, Benedictus, Comrie, Hamilton, Shamers, McCann, Mockery, Richie Hosler, and Kevin O'Hara up front, who isn't the Kevin O'Hara I thought it was. I thought this was the Mullerwell Kevin O'Hara. It turns out it's just some shite guy who's named after Kevin O'Hara. So yeah, he's named after a guy that's not even that good. So that, that doesn't really... Fill me with confidence. What's it fill you with? Absolutely bugger all. I, I want to get filled with three points, so let's do it. I want, I want to fill the fucking aloe net with balls. That's what I want to do. Let's go. They've got Andy Graham as their captain. I'm looking at this aloe team. There's just no standout players here. I mean, they've got Adam King. Sounds like a... Sounds like a name that could be relevant, but it's not really. I mean, yeah, you look at this. I mean, we should be beating this Aloha team with fucking 11 players, 16 players, or nay players, man. We should really be going to win this. So it's important to make the most of the home advantage. Right, guys, come on. First game of the season. You've got to give us a win here. Look at the recent form. Got a win over Fraser Burr in the cup, and then we lost fucking three games in a row. And even the Fraser Burr game, we conceded a goal, which is... And then you look at Aloha, and they've got the opposite to... Oh, Brian Rice! Did you know Brian Rice was Aloha manager? It's because we're fucking Aloha. We're fucking Aloha. Oh, I'd love to beat Aloha the day and send Brian Rice into a post-match meltdown. Chances of that. 
I'd love to. Maybe the maybe the viewership would spike on these Kenanwood parts. Be big Brian. I think we've been up pissing off. I think he'd batter both of us two and one on the touchline. Like he probably would. Ball in, headed away. Come on, Comrie gets it back. Robertson heads it away. Right, headed back again. Robertson it's ping pong with the heads here. Hamilton to Chambers, out to McDonald. Ah, it's pissed for McDonald, man. Miller with the interception. Chance gone, and Alloa yeah, will now just launch it forward. Benedictus. Close control, moves into the Alloa half now. McDonald launches the ball up to McCann. It's down to Mockery. Oh, Chris Mockery. The on loan Dundee United man. A man with a bit of quality. A man that you believe can make things happen. And he almost, he almost made something happen there. Almost got us a goal, but not quite. No, no, still. Alloa now coming forward. Corner, Miller. Ball launched in, headed away. But it will be back to short. She's back in back post. It's good night. It's 1-0. And it is Kieran Offord. We're going to offer ourselves because that is piss poor defending, isn't it? At least it's not that prick Kieran Old for the fucking Celtic podcast. You know what I mean, right? I would have felt worse if it was him, but... I just thought that's my opinion. Anyway, he always sounds like he's got a blocked nose, doesn't he? Mate, blow your fucking nose. Look at my fucking black and blue nose. Right, here we go. Offered again. Back to... Oh, man, it there. Clears it off the line. Right, ball forward. What's happening here? Chambers heads it. It's, it's again, it's ping pong heading here, man. We're doing in ninth place. This is not the start we were looking for. Let's, uh, let's encourage the team here. We need to do something for the sidelines. We need to try and get a reaction from the players. Because at the moment, they're not really doing much. I think they're depressed. I think they've been watching too much Sopranos here. They're suffering from depression. Breen. I bet you Brian Rice doesn't believe in depression. Comrade. Heads. Ah. Oh, O'Hara there. Should have looked for the header. He didn't. McCann. McCann looking for the overlap. It's McDonald. It's headed away again. And Church now. Aloha. Countering on the break here. Can we get men back? Can we get someone back? No, Alloa then just decide to play it back into their own half. Ball launched up. Will break for Miller. Miller just... Oh, no. Miller ball over the top to... Oh, good save by Dennis Mehmet. Could have been 1-1. I mean, it could have been 2-0, actually. Fucking, I would love it to be 1-1, but it's not. He, is he scoring for us? It's going to be hard for his uh, own goal line, but we'll see. Ball in. Oh, head of the way again. Montrose have taken the lead against Falkirk. Oh, yes, come on. One more could go. Ah, oh, come on, ref, he's cleaned him out. That's a red. Rory McAllister makes it 2-0 for Montrose. I don't even think he got booked there. That's a fucking joke. That's an absolute joke. Few bookings so for them? Oh. Oh, O'Hara wins it. Mockery, come on, play through O'Hara. Kevin O'Hara's a weak... Oh, Mockery gets it back, but fortunate. Jesus Christ, man, seriously? You might as well not winning that back. Fucking hell. Right, ball it to McDonald. Come on. Would love a McDonald's right now, Big Mac. McCann. Been missing so far, a bit like Madeline. But he finds a decent ball in, Mockery. Couldn't do nothing with it. Oh, it's fallen to Richie Hostler and he puts it wide. The Rangers loony. And it sums it up. Rangers man putting it fucking wide. How wide's that gap between Rangers and Celtic, by the way? Pretty big. Pretty fucking Pretty wide. Pretty fucking big. Right, Chambers. Can we get something going? Clyde have taken the lead against Queen of the South. Ball into the box. Go! Kevin O'Hara meets it with his head. Speaking of head, Peter Head of leveled against Eldre. But we are level here at East End Park against Aloha. I think it was common. I think we deserve to be back on level terms. And it's Kevin O'Hara with the first league goal of the season. And that's exactly what we wanted just before half time. We've got ourselves right back in the game. It's done. Firmland 1, Aloha 1. What a game, what a result, but we need 2-1. That's what we need, me the Kevin O'Hara hat-trick. 2-1? How did we win 2-1 with a Kevin O'Hara hat-trick, mate? Well, 2-1, 3-1, are you complaining? I'll take a win. <laughs> You're the one that said we need 2-1. Um, this is our chat. Come on, we need to get revenge on these wee bastards. They beat us last time, so let's not let them beat us again. Come on, lads, do something here. Second half upon us, we haven't really changed anything. We we'll just gave them the whole team talk about how Aloha beat us in the Premier Sports Cup, so now we need to beat them in League One. Still feels weird playing in League One, but hopefully by next year we'll be in the Championship. O'Hara again! Heads up. This time it's over the bar. O'Hara, should he have done better? Should he have scored that? 
I think he should have scored that, but you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll give him a break. He's, he's, Did you see it? Yeah, he placed yeah. over for like two yards out. But oh, oh, mockery shite. Oh, fucking hell. Shite touch for mockery, man. Richie Hosler. That was like the Japanese bullet train. Where's what? What's that Japanese movie with Brad Pitt? He's on a train in Aye, Japan. It looks alright, doesn't it? Uh, no, I don't want to see that. But maybe if we get a win here, we'll reward ourselves. We'll take the players up to the cinema. Cinema World. Or whatever they've got in fucking East Fife. I don't know. Fife? Fife. Aye, Fife. We're in Fife. Don't know what fucking part of Scotland we're in. What the hell? Right, come on, Chambers. Back to Brain. Is there any cinemas in Fife? Is there any cinema? Fucking, of course there is, mate. Is there any cinemas? Why are you smoking? Oh, ball back to Moore, Moore and he just gathers it. Calmly done by the goalkeeper. Now he launches it forward. It's Breen. It's falling from Miller. It's Church. Church now up to Offord. Offord, he's on a booking. He has to be careful. But he's played it in. That's done. No. And it's 2-1. It's Ross MacGyver. And that... Could be all shit up, man. It's a good goal, in fairness. It's a very good goal. And it's probably time we make some substitutions here. Um, oh, no. Collie now gets passed. He's running through on goal. It's a tackle. It's into the hands of Dennis Mehmet. Uh, do we make subs or do we wait or do we change tactics? Do we, do we probably need to change something because, I mean, we're going to beat 2-1 against a team that's not very good. So I'd say change your tactics. Right. Uh, what, we go? what do we do? Decisions, man. We need to do something. I'm not quite sure what, but something definitely has to be changed here. Do we go two up front? Do we bring on Craig Whiten? I think we do. I think we do. I think we risk it. I think we bring on Craig Whiten. We could potentially go three at the back. I think we're going to do three at the back. Yeah, so let's move McDonald up. And we will bring on Craig Whiten. He's not 100% fit, but we need to take the chance anyway. We need to do it. We need to We need to risk it here because we are trailing in this game. He can play as an advanced forward and we will move Comrie here into the centre-back position and then swap Comrie with Benedictus. And for now, that'll do it. We'll also go more attacking. In transition, we're going to keep the counter going. We'll look to distribute over the opposition defence. We'll try and get the ball to the strikers and in possession. We are going to go more direct here. And look at early crosses because we've got two men in the box now. So that's really what we should be doing. We should be trying to get as many balls into the box as possible. So there you go. That's the changes that we're making. Hopefully they have an impact. And while we're on the sidelines, we'll probably shout at them as well. Come on, you bastards. Aye, something like that. We're going to demand more for the team here. We've got 28 minutes to show us something more. Show us something else. Offered with a strike. Aloha now. Looking more. Oh, Chambers intercepts it. Good stuff. Comrie. Big launch forward. Finds O'Hara. Oh, he's through. Playing for Richie Holsler. That's not a great ball, though. Holes, oh, for fuck's sake, really? Oh, Mockery! No! Why is he saving that? What? How's Moore pulled that one off, man? Jesus Christ. To be fair, straight at him. Wasn't that good? It wasn't that good. I mean, it was, job. but, I mean, we should have carved... 20 minutes, come on! We should have carved up a better chance than that. Like, it was, it was almost like five against two in our favour. What's the goalie doing up there? Dennis Mehmet heads up to... Uh, so, hard that's through to Craig Whiten. To suck! Ah, you can tell he's not fit. Not fit to fucking wear the shirt. Dirty, stupid, stinking bastard, man. How could he put it that wide? That was not good. That was no good. <sighs> you know what? Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Oh, and it's, got, it's, it's, it's all over. Oh, man, a good catch. Right, let's go. Oh. More substitutions needed here. Oh, we don't have any more strikers, so it's... What can you really fucking do at this stage? Uh, We will push forward. We'll get... Oh my god, I don't even know. Comrie, we'll, we'll put Comrie in here. Hamilton is going to play as a... We'll push these guys up a bit and uh, we are going for it. You know what? We're going to... Do we bring on Paul Allen? I don't know if Paul Allen's the guy that's going to come up. Matty Todd, right? Matty Todd's the guy that I have a bit of faith in. We'll bring on Matty Todd. We'll, we'll, we'll get Comrie. We're going to push Comrie over here. We'll get Matty Todd. We'll push him in there. Is that about as much as you can do at this stage? Fire them all forward. And we're going to get mentality, very attacking, in possession. We're just going to direct. 
Uh, get as many balls into the box. Going to no, not work. But we're going to shoot on sight and get as many crosses in as we can. And uh, we're going to just attack narrow because that's where we've got all our players. We're going pretty narrow here. We're just not route one football, and hopefully it pays off. Right here we go. Got nine minutes remaining. Went into this game wanting a win. Probably would take a draw right now if we're being completely honest with ourselves. Ball head of the way. As far as Robertson, it's one. It's kept in. Oh, oh my disaster, God. Man. Right, good tackle. Right, come on, go. Get forward, Mockery. Great oh. ball to Craig White. And this time. Oh my God, Craig White and son. The angle opened up and then he just. His, his horse went. He just couldn't be arsed anymore. Disgrace. The angle opened up and his arse fucking closed. Right, Whiten. Ball in. To the box. Flicked away. Mockery brings it down. Crossed in again. Penalty. No. Ah, desperation. I was hoping for something. When my flag goes up, your goal goes away. <laughs> Donnelly. Left hand side. Ball into... It's all over. McCreever. Ross McIver, we had double McIver, today. McIver, aye, that could be the one, actually. McIver, what, what the fuck are you on, mate? Don't give a fuck, what? Your ass on, Don't give a fuck, what? He's called her... beat McIver at dab at that port, Jackson. Aye, well, the fuck... We've been beat at these ten, fucking Portman. Feels like we've been beaten to death here. Free one on our home turf, what? This is like the Niners just cruising into Charming and just fucking lighting everyone up. What has happened here? Right, ball through to White and come on, way back in it here, surely, Craig White. He's... Pish. Shouldn't have rushed him back, man. Your fault. You said bring him on. I wanted, I wanted to rest him. I can't and even remember being asked. I wanted to rest him and wrap him up in cotton wool, but you're like, no. Wrap him up my fucking body bag and <laughs> fuck him in the Clyde. Oh, no, man. That's it. Game over, surely. Moore launches it up. Comrade. Richie Hostler. Benedictus. Come on. Something. Guys, we've got fucking two and a half minutes left and you are playing at the back here. Ping. Right, ball through the right and surely. Cracks the post. It's all over. Oh, man. McKeever. On a hat trick. Loses it, loses it. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. Ball launched up again. Headed away again. Right, we're getting balls That's forward. Here's Matty Todd and it's wide. What was that for Matty Todd? On your Todd. I'm sorry, fucking leave him Matty behind. Matty Todd. Right, less than a... But just over a minute to go. Ball in. That's, that must be a pet referee. Give us something, man. Oh, yes. Yeah, sends him the wrong way. Ball back in. It's took a deflection. It's going to fall for Offord. And Alawa will look to clear it. But Matty Todd gets back. Wins it. Comrade. Oh, fucking horrendous pass, man. Right. Breen. Comrade. 40 seconds remain. Ball up to O'Hara. And it's straight into the hands it's of over. What do you even show in these highlights for? Does make my life even worse? Moore launches it. It's going to be... Look at that, even misjudges the bounce for Picked up by Breen. He finds Comrie. Comrie now trying to do a launched through ball through, but Taggart's not having it. He clears it away. McKeever. What's McKeever doing? He's found Donnelly. Donnelly with a piss poor pass, but there's only five seconds remaining. And now it's a ball over the top to Kevin O'Hara. Can he make it two? He can. He pulls one back, but there's really no point celebrating it because... It's all over. As soon as this ball gets back on the centre spot, the referee's going to blow his whistle. So, yeah, uh, there you go, full time. We were right. I mean, good, good performance, good day for O'Hara, I guess. 8.6, got a brace. We 26 shots and we lost the game. That's hard to take. It is. It's very hard to take. But guess what? We'll be back. We're going to win the next game, aren't we? What are we going to say to these guys? You're fucking shite at the club. <laughs> what one, what, which one of these is closest to that? Kick the bottle. Kick the bottle at every single one of their faces. We're going to throw the water bottle. I'm embarrassed by that performance. It was absolutely shameful. I re I'm really not happy. We should have won the match according to the number. I'll say that because I feel like we didn't play that. Chris Hamlin is not happy. Who the fuck's Chris Hamlin? Kane Richie Hostler's not happy. Kevin O'Hara, he, right, he scored two goals. He's got a right not to be happy. Everyone else seems fired up. He's not happy. Ah, he doesn't matter. Josh Edwards. Can he? Fuck it, he's a, he's a real mate. I'm not happy he's even in the team. Sounds like a guy that does a bit of paint and deck. Oh, look at that. Alaba goes straight to the top of the league. Ah, you love to see it, don't you? Because we're knowing the relegation zone. So. I mean, if Alaba played us every week, they'd probably win the uh, the League One. So that's that's two games against Alaba and our short spell as Dunfermline manager, and we have lost them both. Alloa, Brian Rice appear to be our bogey team slash manager slash combination. I feel like slashing the wrist now after that, but 
It is what it is. We need to we need to respond. We need to bounce back and we'll be back with a game against FC Edinburgh in the league. Pretty much a must win, I think. Yep, or else we're gone. You can see in the league table though, we are in eighth, so we are above the relegation zone and the playoff relegation zone. Up next, we're taking on FC Edinburgh. They're sitting in sixth place. They got a draw in their opening match. I believe it was against Kelty Hearts, it was 0-0, so hopefully we can produce the goods against them and get a win. Kevin O'Hara got a brace in the opener. If he gets a brace against FC Edinburgh, then I'm sure we'll get off to winning ways. Anyway, that's a good day, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. Got it to lose that. What can you do? 26 shots and we, we come away with the L. Doesn't seem fair. Doesn't seem legit. But sometimes that's life. Sometimes it fucking sucks and that game definitely sucked. That's it. We'll be back. Comment, subscribe, follow, do all that shit, and we'll catch you in the next one. But until then, peace.